Okay, so tonight's topic, uh, Prabhuji suggested that we discuss about guru and disciple relationship and the attitude of the disciple. So this is nice topic, this is important topic, this is the basis of our spiritual life. So good to discuss this and um, therefore first we offer pranam to guru <laughs> before we discuss. <laughs> Namo Vishnu Pada Krishna Krishna Ruta Shimata Bhakti Vikasha Swaminitina. Now Namo Vishnu Pada Krishna Krishna Ruta Shimata Bhakti Vedanta Swaminitina. Namaste Saraswati over Ravi Pacharini. Vidhi Shesha Shunavati Pashata Vishwarani. Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda. Shri Ayyavai Kadadha Shiva Sadi Gora Tarunda. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So, this is the topic that uh, it's um, something really that we learn at the beginning of our spiritual life. That we need a guru in spiritual life. And also, all our spiritual life, we are learning, developing and deepening our relationship with Guru, which is beginning of our relationship with Krishna. So, basis is like this, that uh, first common understanding is that we are Om Agyana Timirandasya Gananjana Shalaka Chakshur Unmilitame Tasmai Shri Guru First understanding is this, that we are born in illusion. We are born in material world. Welcome to material world. <laughs> we, are, we are all born here and Icha Dvesha Samukana Dhanva Mohana Bharat. Icha, due to desire to enjoy separately from the Lord, Dvesha, due to envy of the Lord, you know, why he is in the center of everything, I want to be enjoyed. That concept, Ishwara Hama Hambogi. To enjoy and to not accept really the supremacy of the Lord, we can to material world. So we are in ignorance. We are ignorance from the beginning of who we are. We are servants of the Lord. When you come to material world, Ishwaroham, Aham Bhogi, I am the enjoyer. You can see when baby is born. So the, when baby is born, you can see this. The jiva came from spiritual world to enjoy here in material world. This is the mentality, this is the attitude. All of us, why we are born in material Okay, maybe some of you sent by Krishna to preach. That is different issue, pranam to you. <laughs> <laughs> but generally, say, generally souls, they got stuck in material world. We desire to enjoy. Okay, so what is the mentality? Mentality is aham mameti. This is mentality, me and mine. Baby is born, okay, uh, wants to enjoy material world. Doctor pulls you up for the legs up and you are hanging ups and down and give you one slap. Welcome to material world. Fuck. <laughs> Hits you and you start breathing. And what is the first thing you say? Ah! What is the, what is translation? Anybody knows baby language? No, you don't know? Pitaji? <laughs> you are father and you don't it's a very simple thing. Baby is crying. Where are my servants? Where is the... Who is going to serve me here? Then mommy comes. I'm your servant. I'm your servant. I'm your servant. I'm your servant. Okay? Ah, good servant. <laughs> you see? In baby you can see. He wants to enjoy. It, the jiva is like this. From womb you can see. The jiva wants to enjoy. He wants to be in center of everything. You know? You know, children, you don't want to fulfill something. You know? They make big drama. Correct? <laughs> Big drama. You see how they sell in India in the train, you know? Fellow comes selling something. Yeah? He's selling something. Toys for kids. So he's walking, walking, walking. See the kid. And comes in right in front of the kid. <laughs> <laughs> he's not preaching to mother, father, you know? He irritates the senses of the child. Child cannot control mind, cannot control the senses. Leiloek! <laughs> 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 and then mother said, no need, already you have 20 at home. Father said, no, I don't want. And then, Wah! 
what? Then the whole train has to be disturbed, you know? And there's no way. And this fellow just, you know, smiling. <laughs> okay? No? Because everything is based on this mentality, enjoyment. And child, you can see in children, they can't hide it. They cannot hide. They want to be in center. They want to be, you know. Sometimes we have a problem when second baby is born. You know? How the elder boy will accept younger brother? You know, we had a case, my goodness, in Bangalore, one family was born. So, you know, obviously, as soon as baby is born, all affection, attention, everything goes to the smallest one. So the elder one was little, you know, egoistic fellow, you know. <laughs> so he was looking, oh, this won't work like this. <laughs> We're not going to allow this, you know. So one day, you know what he did? The baby was laying down. You know, his younger brother was laying down in the bed. That, how you call that? Little Jula, how you call yeah. that? Okay? So he came, like, playing with him, playing. Nobody see. He beat on him for the belly, you know. He just, like, like kissing him, like, you know. And then... Oh. And mother came and saw the old, you know, marks of the teeth and the... You know? Then you, what happened to you? You know, all you people playing with you, you're not playing with me. Oh. Huh? You never heard of this, of course. But it happens. I know the family. So, you know, this envy is there. I want to be in the center. Right? And what do we do? When we grow up, we do the same thing, just we are a little more polite how we do it, correct? <laughs> not the Trump <clears throat> and others, not the true bombs on somebody's head. You know, same thing. Ego, I'm in charge, I want to enjoy, we are in charge, we are going to exploit. We are... So this mentality is there in us who came to in material world. We want to exploit, we want to enjoy, we want to be in the center. Now what is spiritual life? Spiritual life is to understand. Guru comes and tells you, you are not the enjoyer of material world. You are not going to get happiness from material world. You are a servant of Krishna. You have to serve. You know what that means? This means completely upside down. Our world upside down. Our mind upside down. Everything in our life is upside down. Whatever so far we had in the house was for our enjoyment. Now Guru said, nothing is yours. Everything is Krishna's. What to do now? <laughs> you, know, you know, everything is changing. So we have to mold our consciousness. And on our own, we cannot figure out this. On our own, Jiva cannot understand. Therefore, Prabhupada gives simple, a super simple example. Prabhupada, your hands are tied. Your legs are tied. How will you free yourself? Somebody who is free has to come and open the road. So this is Guru. Guru is free from Maya, free from odds free from material desire to enjoy and exploit, and he can deliver it. Om Ajnana Timirandasya. We are born in ignorance. Jnananjana Shalaka, Chakshur Unmilitam Yena. By the torch of knowledge, Guru opens our eyes. And he tells us, this is why you are suffering. You want to be enjoyer. You want to be imitator. You want to be competitor to God. Prabhupada shouts at his purpose. You know, he, he's so strongly speaking, every page, every line, every word is warning us. Don't try to enjoy material senses. Don't, you're not going to be happy. You know, it's a failure. He's shouting, scolding every purpose, every opportunity. He condemns material enjoyment. This is good. And this is all spoken from Shastra. <coughs> so that... So that uh, um, we get the courage, we get the knowledge, we get the guidance. He bring us to common sense. We are at suicidal mission. We are going 100 kilometers per hour towards the wall. We are going to hit it, huh? take birth again. We are, we are full into enjoyment. Get the money, enjoy, get the wife, get the car, get the house, get the prestige, get a good job, get your name, and boom, get another body. And then what's the point? Punarapi Jananam, Punarapi Maranam, Punarapi South India Wala, you should know. Janani Jattare Shayanam. We don't want to do that we, because it's not nice, it's not good. It's bad, material is bad, it's not nice. You have to die, it's not good. You know, you can't, if you think, what is this life? You understand Guru is right. So your own sense perception. Your own logic will tell you. When you hear Sadhu speaking, you think of your own head. I'm a terrible Everybody's dying. 
everything is temporary. So much energy for nothing. You know, whether, whether they are right, you know. Mm. Better, you know, your own Pratyaksha Pramana, your own Anuman, your own intelligence, your own understanding all should confirm what Sadhu says. And you say, oh yeah, he's right. We don't like to hear because we like to play, like a kids. Kids, they like to play. <coughs> okay, game over, come for the lunch. Oh, I want to play. All right, one more life. <laughs> this is what it is. Bhagavan, all right, one more life. Play. Is enough? Oh, one more life. Okay, one more life. It's like this. We are playing. We are not taking seriously. We are seeing. We are seeing doesn't work. We are hearing doesn't work. We are experiencing doesn't work. And still, maybe it will work for me. <laughs> it's like this. Hope against hope. It's illusion. It's bewilderment. So Guru comes and teaches this. Now, this is not the only definition of Guru. He gives this transcendent knowledge. First knowledge is, you are not enjoyer of material world. This material world is not Maya, Maya. Not this. This is not the place you want. You want Vaikuntha, you want permanent. You want permanent happiness. Correct? Everybody wants permanent happiness. But illusion bewilders you. Everybody. I mean, this is... Um, why? Why we want permanent happiness? Because soul is described in Vedanta Sutra, Ananda Maya Bhyasat. Soul is just like a god. It's made of Anandam. Anandam comes from relationship, from rasa, from exchanging love with the Lord. Soul is made of happiness. He needs a happiness. Prabhupada says, look how simple Prabhupada puts. This is amazing. The biggest philosophy of Vedanta Sutra, Prabhupada puts like this. Everybody wants to love somebody and do something. So we have to love Krishna and do service to him. Otherwise, if you try to love anybody else or do anything else, this is called illusion maya, you will not be happy. This aphorism, Ananda Maya Vyasat, Ramanuja Chari writes 24 pages commentary on that. <laughs> you know? Prabhupada puts in line, you know. Everybody wants to love somebody and do something. This is tendency of everyone. Tell me one person on the street, stop him, that he doesn't want to love somebody and doesn't want to do anything. No, everybody wants to do it. But what to do? Who we are? So Guru gives this Sambandha Jnana. What is my relation with God? Who am I? Who is God? What is our relation? This, without this, there is no spiritual life. Without understanding, I am a soul and God is supreme soul and I am his servant. Without this, there is no question of spiritual life. There is no question of any spiritual understanding. If we don't understand, we are servants of Lord. So this is basis. So Guru gives this knowledge. And Guru is not the Guru that Guru some, you know, he has knowledge on his own. Guru is Guru because he comes in Guru Parapara, because he has knowledge from Krishna. So, so many times you hear Guru, Guru, Sadhu, Shastra. Guru means your own Diksha Guru. Sadhu means all the saintly persons who practice Vedas, Guru Parampara, all the self-realized rishis, and Shastra means Vedas. Vedo, Narayana, Sakshar. Vedas are coming from breathings of Narayan. They are not different from Narayan. They are Aparusha. Means these are not scriptures written by any man. These are spiritual. These are eternal. These are instructions from the Lord. So they are beneficial for us. So this is a Guru. Guru teach what Shastra says. Guru teach what his Guru says. Prabhupada says, unless he was disciple of a Guru, he cannot be a Guru. Mm. This is how it goes. So we are very happy. We show you in Gita immediately. This is our parampara. Mm -hmm. I have so many Gitas home, but you don't have this parampara. Oh, parampara. First time I'm hearing. Right. Good morning. So <laughs> this is the Gita. You read this one. And what is the result? Look, people are changing their life. So many Gitas were there in the West, but they didn't make devotees. Why? Because this knowledge comes from Guru Parampara. And this is another... So many definitions of Guru are there. Savigyanam... Savigyanatnam Guru Meva Bhigachet Samipani Shotriyam Brahmanishtam. That if you want to understand absolute truth, you have to approach a Guru. Okay. Who is self realized soul? Samitpani means that Samitpani literally means bringing firewood for Yagya. Means you render service. Okay, previously Gurus they will do Yagyas and teach Vedas. 
The first morning yagya is done, then swadhyaya is done, the study of the Vedic literature is done. So, Samit Pan, you render service. Shrotriyam. Shrotriyam means? Hear what? Yes, yes, here is the Pandit. Shruti. Shrotiya means hear Shruti, hear Vedas from him. Not only hear him, but learn Vedas from him. Shrotiya, Brahmanishtam. Brahmanishtam means he is situated on Brahman platform. Brahman platform means Brahma Buddha Prasanatma, Na Shrojati, Na Kangshati, Samasarveshu Bhuteshu. Then, Prabhupada, then we can talk about Bhakti. Mad Bhakti, Labhate Param. Then Bhakti starts. Means then pure Bhakti starts. Okay. <clears throat> Make it easy. So, this is the Guru. Guru is one who knows the Vedas, who practices the Vedas, who teaches the Vedas, who can make others follow the Vedas. This is the Guru. And who comes in Guru Parampara? This is the Guru. We simplify for people when you speak to general public. Because in India everybody has a Guru. Now is the fashion. Now is the fashion in India to have a Guru. And more Guru is on the internet, on YouTube, that the bigger Guru he is, you know, and more follower he is. We are traveling the train and we have our Japa Mala, no? So, you know, we sit in train, put your luggage and then you do Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. And then immediately you can see opposite party also so adjustment, something, putting some locker, some Guruji's face is there, you know? <laughs> we also have a Guru. <laughs> so it's a question of prestige also, you know? So, you know, okay. So nice. So I ask, so... You are people from Ishkorn? I say, yes, we are from Ishkorn. <laughs> <laughs> so you taking Diksha? I say, yes, we're taking Diksha. Mm-hmm. So I say, yes, Diksha means no meat eating, no gambling, no intoxication, no illicit sex, we chant 16 malas. So this is Diksha. So you also have, ah, we also have a guru. <laughs> so they tell you the name of a guru. I not tell in front of Walter, why should I tell you this, you know, suspicious man. So, he tells, uh, yeah, so I say, nice, so what do you follow? Oh, Guruji, very merciful, no need to follow him. <laughs> <laughs> now you see, you laugh because you are devoted, you are hearing from Prabhupada. Guru must discipline you, correct? No? Yeah. I'm a very good doctor. Never in life he given me no injection, no pill, nothing. They never cure any disease also. <laughs> so, what is the point of the dog? He's a nice. We play cards together, you know. <laughs> but he's not a doctor, no? So, this is the point, that people take guru as a fashion. It's a fashion. I have guru, you have guru, and my guru is such and such, and who's your guru? And like this, there is some kind of, you know, Prabhupada call it um, pet guru. I have a dog, I have a cat, I have a guru. <laughs> Another joke was there when Prabhupada was there, that uh, some of Birlas came to meet Prabhupada. And uh, something they said, that, so do so you know devotees? You meet Prabhupada, devotees, and look, this pure devotees, Mahabhava, when you come, you offer pranam, you know? And, no, no, we know, we know. We also have a guru. I have a guru. Who is your guru? Ah, we just sent him to London. They sent guru to London. I mean, they are paying him, you know. Don't go, Guruji, go there, go here, go there. Now we pay you, do the puja, you know. You, you, you dance as we sing, you know. So you see what a bogus understanding of Guru. Where is your Guru? We just send him to London, you know. <coughs> like he's a, you know. But that's not the way of dealing with Guru. You, know. you don't send Guru anywhere, you know. Rather we are sent by Guru, here and there, whatever it needed to do. So, first of all, in spiritual we have to get some idea of Guru. But it's difficult. How do you know who is Guru? You're just new person. You just come one to time for a house program for bhajans, and now they tell you you have to get Guru. It's you believe devotees. That's all. At the beginning, not that you know the shastra, not that you know all the Upanishads descriptions of Guru, and not, you, we cannot tell. Correct? Simply, it's based on faith. But this is not bad faith. The faith is that you believe devotees who are following the Guru. Actually, you are attracted with them. Correct. It's not that first time immediately you are coming on first house program and uh, devotees are there, bhajans are there, lecture is there, prasadam is there, and immediately you are, ah, I'm hearing Krishna's flute in there. That's it. My relation with Krishna. Not like that. First you like the people. 
You like devotees, you like the atmosphere. Oh, it was nice. What did they discuss? I don't know, but it was nice. And uh, what was there on the altar? I don't know, many things, but it was nice. And what did you have for dinner? Oh, dinner was fantastic. I don't know, but it was nice. It's some impression is there first. You have no clue, no, what really happening. But they are nice. So everybody is smiling. It was nice to me, no. And uh, I'll come again. So this is called Adal Shada. Adal Shada. First, fate, but it's not fate. Macharya's explained. Adal Shada first, little respect, little appreciation. How is that? By Agyata Sukriti, by unknowingly performing devotion and service, by going around the temple or chanting the name, taking prasada, meeting devotees, doing some service, slowly, 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 Bhakti Sukriti is accumulated. When this Bhakti Sukriti is little accumulated, what happens then? Then that matures in Shraddha, which is Komala Shraddha, we're very weak at the beginning. It turns into respect. When you meet devotees, like, oh, they're doing, I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing something good, some, something good. Everybody is exploiting everyone else and cheating and lying, you know, at least these people are doing something good. Some little, little respect is there, correct? Then when you meet again devotees, oh, they're nice. Then you start appreciating, oh, they're doing something nice. Then this desire a little bit, when you next time meet them, oh, then a little curious, what they're doing, what is this all about? And they, if they ask you any help or something, oh yeah, you are ready, you know. So then this shraddha, little faith, little respect, turns into desire. Oh, let me see what they are doing. Let me associate. Satsanga. Adal shraddha, tada satsanga. Then, you know, this is not, they are nice people, yeah. You don't understand anything. It's not that you read the all four Vedas and then you know who is spiritual, who is not spiritual. You have no clue. But Krishna, who is all attractive, he is in the heart of devotees. He starts attracting, like a magnet, unknowingly. It goes automatically. It's not that you have, it has to be announced. It's just working all the time. More devotees chant purely, more they offer puja purely, more they cook purely for Lord's pleasure. All these things are attractive. Kirtan is attractive, lecture is attractive, prasadam is attractive, atmosphere is attractive, because Krishna is present. The more purely we do, more... Krishna's magnet is manifested. And then people come, I don't know what happened, but it was so nice. It mesmerizes them, you know, mm-hmm. just like that. And then more people are pious, they respond more quickly. Mm. So, so the Krishna becomes attractive like that, you know. Then, in satsanga, then we hear. <coughs> it's not that immediately, you see, we are doing little, now modern Iskong is little, uh, make them chant, make them chant, this is emphasized. But not with Prabhupada. People who come first time to Prabhupada, they will not get me Japamala for them. No. First you read our books. Try to understand our philosophy. Millions of times Prabhupada said this to new people. First thing, read our books. Try to understand our mm-hmm. Come and hear from devotees. Associate with them. Chanty will come automatically. First you hear. Why? Kirtanam is, uh, Sankirtanam is Yagya for the age. Okay. But unless you understand what is this Maha Mantra and who is Krishna, who am I, who is Krishna, what is our relation, Sambandha Gana, you will not chant for long. Mm-hmm. All you will chant with inattentively, you will chant and think Hare Krishna and Sai Krishna, this is the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You will think uh, I will merge into Bhagavan after chanting Hare Krishna. Or you will think this is for material benefit. I will chant Hare Krishna, money will come, wife will come, car will come, pen will come. See what a nice seat I got tonight. Mm-hmm. Well, it works. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah, you know, you, you will misunderstand and you will not get Falam, which is Krishna Prem. Prabhupada, you, you can't believe. Japa Maharaj was later. This, this was, they were later means you hear, first you hear, to perform some Kirtan Yagya. Kirtan, first comes Shavan. Shavan is heart of kirtan, proper hearing, proper understanding. That will make you enthusiastic and clear, and then you will chant like anything. How many lectures you have to hear to understand that you have to chant? One, two, three, boom, you chant. And you are coming with the waters. What is that? What is? What happened to your hand? This is what I asked first time, and I saw the water with carrying the boom. Probably some hand problem. <laughs> <laughs> what I know, Baba, you know, coming from the West, you know. 
mess. Yeah, you don't know anything. You know? So, no, no, this is Japamala. And immediately I think, I also want one. As soon as I saw, I want one. Because I liked them, I appreciated them. I came a few times, you know. And then I saw Jap, oh, I also want one. Is it natural, no? So satsanga. In satsanga you develop desire. What is the satsanga? They engage you in the service. They give you holy name. They give you prasadam. Correct? They make you hear. And then means devotees purify us. Then this mature in understanding. What is understanding? I need the guru. That is called bhajanakriya. Bhajanakriya means now you take diksha, and under the guidance of Guru, you are engaged in devotional service. Result is anartha and virity. Then heart gets purified. So this is how, how we come. Most of us come like this. Somebody introduces, somebody pushes us, some relative brings us, some friend pushes us, and then we think, oh, it's nice. Okay? And then, you know, may not be pleasing everything, every time you hear in the lectures, you know, something, oh, oh. Oh, demigod wash, oh, 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 Sai Baba's box, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> But still, Prasada is nice, I'll come again. <laughs> no? Now, I remember first time reading, and I told you last time, I was living life, come from life, and my father has some scientific background, so he told me that science is above Vedas. And I was. So I was reading, first page, rascal scientist. <laughs> I close book five minutes, leave it. <laughs> Drink some water, you know. <laughs> they say this, you know, and then Prabhupada convinces you. I don't do book, I close book. We're also scientists, I also said, you know. <laughs> he was right, you know. But now that, you know, you know, some people worship all like demigods. And in Iskon we are, you know, very particular, you know. A counterpart, no demigod. Or we are, you know, don't accept every guru to be a guru. <coughs> Correct? Just because he has beard and turban doesn't mean he is a guru. No? He simply bearded man. <laughs> Unless he's in parampara, we don't accept. Unless he's teaching to surrender to Krishna, we don't accept. This is another simple definition that we give in South India when people ask us. How do you recognize who is bona fide guru? Okay. First we tell them, look, who are the famous guru in South India? Ramanuja Acharya, Madhva Acharya, Vedanta Desika. These are famous gurus in South India. Though Nimbarka and Vishnu Swami also come from South, but there were thousands of years, nobody remembers their names even now. No? Correct. What did Ramanuja Acharya teach? What did he say? Om Namo Narayana. Chant Narayana's name. Worship Narayana. Surrender to Narayana. What did Madhva Acharya teach? See Krishna and Namaha. Surrender to Krishna. So Guru is one who teaches you how to surrender to Krishna. Now you go to your Guruji, check out whether he is teaching you to surrender to Krishna or not. If not, close the chapter, go somewhere else. (laughs) Simple, simple method. Guru must teach you how to surrender to Krishna. No? When you see Guruji's poster, but no Krishna photo anywhere, you know, you can see he is advertising himself, you know. Correct? Look at our Prabhupada. You go all over the world. Any place in the world, major place in the world, either America or South America, Australia or China, anywhere, you say Bhagavad Gita, we know Krishna. You say Hare Krishna, ah, we know Krishna Bhagavad. Correct. You say Prabhupada, who? Prabhupada, they don't know. You see what Prabhupada did? He spread Krishna's name all over the world. He didn't spread his name. Not that Record everything is recorded. Why people record? <laughs> hmm? Then I can't say Chinmaya mission, Ramakrishna mission, this mission, that mission, propagating themselves, not Krishna. You understand? Prabhupada spread it all over the world, not his name. Nobody knows. In India, people they don't know Prabhupada. They don't know. Some people know. Mostly they do not know. Still, India speak. Swami Vivekananda, Ramakrishna, these are spiritual leaders of India. Still they are talking about from school books they learn in second grade, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Prabhupada, they do not know. They do not know. Did you knew, heard about Prabhupada before coming to Iskon? No. But you heard about Vivekananda? Yes. Yes? yes? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm understanding you, the same thing. You understand? This is the word. This is a guru. Not self-advertising. No business. 
You understand? He's not promoting himself. How he could manage, I do not know. You know? Because naturally fame follows you when you're a devotee of Krishna. Look at Hanuman. Who doesn't know Hanuman? Everybody knows Hanuman. In, in India, there are more Hanuman temples than Ram temples. You understand this one? When you're a devotee, naturally your fame comes with you. Who doesn't know for Arjun? Who never heard about Garuda? No? They are famous because they are devotees. So that automatically follows, you know, if you are devotee. But Prabhupada, man, it's just amazing. So much desire. Spread the holy name. Spread Krishna. Shy in the background. No, nowhere is his name. They do not. It's our duties now as a, as a shishi, as a followers to spread Prabhupada's glories. That's our duty now. That's, that's disciples' duty. You know. He is not interested. He is a spirit. And then, <coughs> Bhajanakriya, you come to the point that you take Diksha. Diksha means what? Divya Gyana Hride Prakashita. The early we are seeing that, that Guru gives you transcendental knowledge, opens your eyes, and tells you, You are servant of God, you are eternal spirit soul, you are meant to serve Krishna. Jivara Surupa Krishna Ramityadas. You should serve Krishna. And then, Krishna's system. Why not directly from Krishna? Because you are not Arjun. Sorry, I don't get offended. You are a great soul, but you are not Arjun. <laughs> Let's be a little humble. No? You know? We have no direct access to Krishna. But Krishna told to Arjun, when Arjun asked, how do I get all this knowledge? Tatvidi pranipatena pariprasnena sevaya upadekshantite jnanam jnanena tattva darshan. Go to tattva darshan. Go to somebody who knows me. Go to somebody who has seen the truth. And he will tell you. This is Krishna system. Acharya Mahavijaniyam. You approach Guru, worship him as me. Sakshad Hari. Sakshad Hari. He is directly my representative. Prabhupada say like this. Guru is supreme personality of servitor Godhead. In Chaitanya Charitamrita. Guru is not God. But Guru is servant of God. Shastra described Guru as Ashaya Vigraha of the Lord. Ashraya Vigraha, the form of the Lord on which we should take shelter. Guru is representative of Krishna. Meeting, why Sakshad Haritva Nasamasta Shas? There is no difference. Guru is, should be worshipped as good as God. Why? Because meeting Guru and meeting Krishna, you get the same benefit. You get moksha, you get prema bhakti. There is no difference meeting Guru and Krishna in the sense of result, of benefit for us. Therefore, there is no difference. There is no difference. You meet Prabhupada or you meet Krishna. But it's easier to meet Prabhupada than Krishna. <laughs> you know? It's easier to meet devotee, representative of Krishna, representative of Guru. So this is Krishna's system. Krishna say, no, those who claim they are my devotees, they are not my devotees. Those who is devotee or my devotee, this is my devotee. This is Krishna's system. Krishna established this system, that you come to me through Guru, through my devotee. This is Krishna's system. And therefore, he sends the Guru. He comes as Paramatma, as a Chaitya Guru in the heart. He gives the Shastras. He comes as Avatars. He sends the Sadhus. He sends the Guru. It's a whole package, all arrangement for us, just to wake up one soul. No, just to wake us up. Krishna makes so many arrangements. No? And the system is approach the Guru. So this is the system. This is anybody who comes to that point, he has so much association, that bulb will put, I need a guru, I need a guru. Alarm, I need a guru. No, this is, this is mature understanding. If you're coming enough, if you take a sufficient quantity of prasadam, should click in your head that you need a guru. Otherwise, one more serving. <laughs> you know? So this is natural. It just like, you know, comes naturally, this mature understanding, I need a Guru. So, when we come to Guru, we should understand basic knowledge we should have. Prabhupada said, if you're going to buy the gold, some basic understanding should be there. Otherwise, you're going to get cheated. You know, you got to come back home with Chinese plastic. Shining like a gold, but it's not gold, you know. So, some basic understanding must be there. Now, a Guru must... Say, okay, let me common understand. Every Indian knows by culture, by tradition, that sadhu must be saintly. Correct? If the sannyasi is walking with four young girls around, maybe you should consider looking for some other guru. 
before it comes in newspapers. You understand? <laughs> it's a basic concept we know. Basic concept by culture, you know. The guru cannot have, you know, ten, ten rings, you know, you know, and three bank accounts in Switzerland, and, you know, come in fancy car, and all that. You know, it's not expected. Okay. So basic knowledge everybody has. But the essential knowledge is here, that he must be devotee of Krishna, he must teach, surrender to Krishna. This is what we do not know. Most of people do not know. For them, every, every Baba is a Guru. Correct? Everybody puts saffron and has a little belly. That's why I'm growing a little belly, so it can be recognized as a Guru. <laughs> has some good qualities. <laughs> <laughs> then, you know, you have the Guru look, you know. <laughs> Sorry, huh? I'm neophyte. I'm practicing it. Garland required, no? <laughs> No? So that, and that smile, you know, that smile, looking, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and blubber, any nonsense, doesn't matter. It's appeal sentimentally. I'll tell you one. Uh, Guruji, what is goal of life? You, you put on paper uh, what is not goal of life. And the last thing which remains, that is the goal of life. <laughs> Are Baba, what a guru is this? <laughs> you understand what he said? He wanted to be smart and say that use neti neti philosophy of Shankaracharya, you know. But that's a little different than what he said. He said, put on paper what is not... Give me paper and can for a second. Yeah. He said, put on paper what is not God, what is not goal of life, goal of life and last thing which remains... Okay, microphone, microphone, no. Galan, 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 no, no. Means what is the process? It's meaningless instruction. You understand? It's meaningless. This is not the process. This is not the knowledge. This is simply juggling with words. And and down, this Shisha replies, Jai Guru Dev. <laughs> Didn't help him. Didn't just mind kind of. Oh. How to con- Guru Dev? How to control mind? Mind your mind to be mindless. <laughs> 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 what is it? It's a called New Age Poetry, that's all. It's, it, we use paper in Europe for something which we don't use in India, you know? But that poetry is meant for that. You know? <laughs> in India, we use water, in Europe, we use poetry. <laughs> meaningless instruction. It's just meaningless instruction, you know? Then one, our devotee was logging on his Twitter, you know? So he pretended. First, he asked a few questions, you know? It's a big Guruji. I let tell his name, Shri Shri from Bangalore. <coughs> <laughs> so he had given these bogus answers. So finally, I had one devotee, Madhav Chaitanya Prabhu, really good, really good in that, you know. He is on Twitter. So this Guruji was answering ladies on Twitter. He said, Guruji, amazing knowledge you are giving. What the answer? Is this coming from Vedas or from Guru Sadhu Shastra? Where do you get your knowledge? You know what Ravi Shankar replied? Whatever you got today is freshly baked. <laughs> I have print out, I steam print out, I have this. You understand? Whatever you got today is freshly baked. Means he speculated on the spot. It's not from Guru, Sadhu, Shastra, it's not from Vedas, not from tradition, not even from experience. Simply Manoratena, you understand? From the mind, conconction, speculation, bogus you know. So, you see, this general knowledge where you have a saintly person, this is not enough for us. You have to a little bit hear from devotees that at least Guru must be a devotee. And then, first knowledge, I'm spirit soul, I'm not this body, matter is matter, spirit is spirit. Then you understand what is spiritual activity, what is material activity. Otherwise, half of people in India think that opening hospitals, schools, feeding poor, uh, planting the trees, hospital, you know, giving in charity, these are spiritual activities. Nothing spiritual. It's for body. No? This is the problem. Ramakrishna, what do they have? Dispensaries. Um, hospitals. Okay, nothing wrong opening hospital. Better open hospital than open liquor shop. Fine. Agreeable. Liquor shop is in Tamagun. Hospital is in Satvagun. But it's all in the Guna. Try Guna Vishaya. But you have to go up all these three modes. Spiritual life is spiritual. It's not material. No? Spiritual means help the soul. So you see, this is another knowledge we got from Guru, which will not common man cannot understand. Correct? 
They will also why you are criticizing? They are also good. They are opening hospital. They are opening school. They are feeding the poor. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes, these are good activities from material point of view. Yeah? Material activities are three, Sattva Gun, Rajagun, Tamagun. So maybe this is a Sattvic activity. But they are material. They are not going to stop repeated birth and death. Yeah. So Prabhupada say, Acharya has explained, Vishma Chakra Thakur said, the pious activities in the material world are impious activities. One is wet cow dung, one is dry cow dung. What is the difference? Both are cow dung. No use of it. Both are going to bind you. Both are going to take you to another repeated birth and death. Okay. So, that, that's the point. That without knowledge of parampara, without transcendental knowledge, without shruti, without shabda brahma, without message which comes above the material contamination, we cannot know the truth. Simple, as simple as that. We will never know the truth because we are in maya. You know, we can know the truth if it comes from above. Our Oha point comes from above the sense that we can't get it, otherwise, we will never get it. No, all of us we thought, nice, these are all nice activity, what's wrong with it? You know, from spiritual point, completely material activity, <laughs> nothing to do with anything spiritual, correct? Huh? So, when you come and hear a few months, you hear from the world, read one of two Prabhupada's books, eyes completely seeing the world differently. What you thought is spiritual is not spiritual. Now you see these big, big gurus, half of them are bogus. Nonsense. Talk, simply nonsense talk. Nonsense talk. Man has problem with mind, and he said, mind your mind to be mindless. Meaningless. Just what is the meaning of that? There's no any guidance in life, you know. Yeah? Prabhupada will say, Savai Mala Krishna Padara Vindeo. Control your mind. Fix it on lotus feet of Krishna. Chant Krishna's name. Some practical, effective. Some real instruction, you know, no? Another boy, another boy is asking, oh, Guruji, uh, they are teasing me, everybody is teasing me because I have dark complexion. Yeah. And Ripple, uh, Swamiji goes, make your life colorful. <laughs> <laughs> so what is going to do? Go paint shop and paint his face or what? Meaningless, you understand? Meaningless, you know? that's meaningless instruction. No? You see Prabhupada's books, you see every word he says, he's full of meaning, it just makes sense. Just whether we accept or not, this is our problem. How much we are attached, this much we accept, you know. It's amazing how, how actually, you know. So now, we're supposed to discuss about attitude of disciple. <laughs> okay, we came first to the level, we are now disciples. <laughs> <coughs> so now, what, what, what is the attitude of disciple? What happened to us, say from the beginning? Now we came to the point that we took Diksha. We first to understand, wow, this transcendental knowledge changed change my perception of life. I'm so grateful. This is first attitude, first understanding. Thank you very much, Guru Maharaj. Thank you, Krishna. Thank you, Krishna, for sending me Guru. Thank you, Guru, for guiding me to Krishna. The first thing you understand, oh wow, I got it all wrong. I would be in Maya like anybody else. I would suffer life after life if I didn't get this transcendental knowledge. So pronoun to Guru for that. No? What is the attitude? Actually, attitude is that of gratitude. You know. And the idea is that we serve the Guru, we follow now. Now we know. He knows. I do not know. So I'm going to learn. He is ready to teach. So Prabhupada writes in Bhagavatam that when Parikshit comes and asks Shukadeva Goswami questions, Shukadeva Goswami first congratulates him. Good. You actually ask proper questions, which are beneficial for you and for all humanity. Why? Because these are questions about Absolute Truth, Supreme Lord, Personality, God, the Lord, Sikrish. So now Prabhupada writes in Prabhupada that he said, both parties have to be qualified. The disciple must be sincere and guru must be bona fide also. Then there will be proper transmission of knowledge. Correct. So say, I want to learn cooking and I approach somebody who is good cook. Correct. Prabhuji is good cook. <laughs> we are witness. All of us are witness. So, I approach him. Now, both parties must be sincere. First, he must know how to cook and he must also transmit the knowledge. And disciple has to come 
and also being proper attitude to learn. Correct? Now that you come. So, how you are making shukta? Ah, shukta we use karela. I don't like karela. Can you make shukta without karela? <laughs> I don't think you can make shukta without karela. Maybe something else bitter to you. Means if you know Bengali item, you will understand that the main thing in shukta is karela, you know, and I want to speculate, you know. So, what's the point? You can, I cannot come in attitude advising him, arguing with him. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. I cannot, I have to be submissive. I must learn. That means, first you admit yourself, I do not know. Correct? But this is difficult for Jiva. Jiva is on ego, Jiva is puffed up. I tell you one question with it. We had such a fun in Salem. There's one famous Rajaganapati temple. So sometimes we go there to investigate Vedic truths. <laughs> so, we wanted to distribute Gita. All right. So one month before marathon, we had a questionnaire. Have you read Bhagavad Gita? Uh, and then like this. If yes, uh, what, is the, what is the conclusion of Bhagavad Gita? What is the message of Gita? What is Gita Sar? What is the essence of Gita? Simple like this. You know. So look at this fun. We give question. You know, first, have you read Gita? And if yes, what is the essence of Gita? Two questions, very simple, straightforward. How much takes time? Two minutes. All right. 100 questionnaires were given. From 100 questionnaires, 10 people read Gita. Okay. But all 100 wrote, what is the essence of Gita? <laughs> you understand this one? He never read, he, have you read Gita? No. What is the essence? <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem. You know? This is amazing. In, <laughs> how they like to speculate. Okay. S say we are discussing about cancer or something. How much we know? We do not know much. We won't dare to discuss much. This man has a cancer. So f five of us gather and say, shall he have surgery? Not? No, Baba, we'll take him to the doctor. We're not going to discuss. Correct? Or Gita discussion. Even Rikshawala, one hour lecture he will give. <laughs> you know, understand? Anybody thinks I'm authority. On spiritual, everybody wants to blabber left, right, and up and down. You know, it's amazing how this mind is like this. You know, so this this is the problem in accepting the guru. Simply, we have to be humble and ask, look, I do not know. Let me learn something. One must be a little honest. Takes time to get purified. Therefore, we say, chant Hare Krishna, take prasadam, come for program, jump in kirtan, do some service, distribute, read books, hear, get purified, get purified, get purified. Then it clicks. Oh. Actually, I do not know. Mm. Kuru Maharaj, Kim Karomi, what shall I do? Aham Karam, ego, Aham Karomi, I'm the doer. But spiritual means, Kim Karomi, I'm your servant, what shall I do? Kim Karomi, what shall I do? Instruct me. So this change must come in mind. This maturity must come. You have to be honest. You come as a fool in front of Guru. Then you can learn. No? If glass is full, I cannot fill up anything in the glass. Correct? Fool means, take it literally, fool. <laughs> if I'm fool, I'm not going to learn. <laughs> you understand? So I am a fool, but empty. Okay? Empty the glass, then you come. Then, then there is transmission. No, no, you can't. You, you have to be submissive. Okay, if I'm puffed up, how am I going to drink water? Okay, you come up, I'm not going to come down. I have to be down, water has to be up. If I'm down, transmission is going on. If I'm up, you come, I'm not coming. You come. Last time I came, now you come. <laughs> it doesn't work like this. It won't work. You're not going to learn anything. You know. So Guru, we take Guru for guidance. We are not taking Guru for fashion. We are not making show. We are not sending him to London. <laughs> we are not paying him. We're not going to manipulate Guru for with with money. You're not going to manipulate Guru for name, fame, prestige, this, that, no? Hmm? No, we are seeking knowledge. We are approaching for knowledge. No? So this is the attitude. And then we understand. Understanding must be there. Yasya prasada, Bhagavad prasada. Yasya prasada, nagati ikuto. By mercy of Guru, you get mercy of Krishna. Without mercy of Guru, no mercy of Krishna. 
So this is this is really like this. It is like this. This is how it works. And Guru is kind. Guru is ready to teach. He has no problem. He's not personal on ego. He's not part of material world. He's not asking money. He's not selling mantras. No? Prabhupada was joking and mocking with his gurus in America, you know. Hundred dollar mantra and you become God in fifteen days. Oh. <laughs> so if he is God, I kick him with my boot in the face, I urinate on him, what he will do? Prabhupada said. <laughs> you know that? The reporter came and asked Prabhupada, Prabhupada, what do you think about that Guru Maharaj? You want me to say something for papers or you really want to know what I think? So he said, no, we want to know what I think. So Prabhupada said, I kick him with my boot, I pass urine on him, what he will do, what kind of God he is. Published in newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> Prabhupada was furious because he's genuine Guru. He's servant of God and they are bluffing. What you will do, somebody is pretending that he is a Guru, you know? He is a servant of God, and somebody is teaching, no, I'm a servant of God. It's a bluff. No? It's a bluff. When time comes to collect salary, I say, I'm that person, I collect your salary. How will you feel? Nice, no? <laughs> uh, okay, let me know when the day comes. <laughs> yeah? Bad, no? Correct? It's very bad. So Prabhupada was... Emotionally, it is cheating. Instead of bringing people to Krishna, he's dragging them, dragging, exploiting. It's just exploit. Just another materialistic thing that he's exploiting. Look at 8.30. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, the attitude of disciple, the thing is, Prabhupada said like this, that first comes that Tadvidi Pranipatana, you have to do that step, you have to approach the Guru. Pari Prashna. Ask question, clarify doubts. It's not question of sentiment. It's not blind following. Ask the question, clarify. Ask, how is this? How is this? How Krishna is? Why Krishna is black? Ask some questions to clarify. No, you have doubts. You know, you, you ask the questions. You know, how this? How that? Why boring Krishna? Why we forget previous lives? What this happened? That clarify. What about Shiva? What about Sai Baba? What about this? What about? Ask questions, clarify. Guru is there to clarify. No? Sevaya. And you serve. Service attitude is there. This is an ancient secret, which today science does not know, today society does not know. But if you serve somebody nicely, all the good qualities of that person will be manifested in you. That's why the culture touched the feet of mother, father. In the morning, you are all from Bharat Varsha, you're supposed to touch Mataji's, Pitaji's feet in the morning. Not a pranam. Children should touch the feet. You know? And this is very meaningful. Why? Because you offer, son offer pranams to mother and father. When Guru comes, father and mother offer pranam to Guru. Guru offer pranam to Krishna. And you are completely linked. Automatically you accept Krishna is Bhagavan. It's so nice science. It's such a culture. Everything is designed to take you to Krishna, not meaningless, meaningful. Everything has its meaning. So we serve the Guru, so we get purified. We get blessings from Him. We are, we are reawakening our love of God. Nitya Siddha Krishna Prema Sadhu Kabunai Shravanadi Siddha Chitta Karayola Krishna Bhakti, love of God is in the heart already. Everybody has it. This is nature of soul, but it's covered now. Shravanadi, Shravanadi, beginning with hearing, it awakens, reawaken. It's already there. It's nothing new. It's not something from outside. Everybody has soul is designed, made to love God. All of us we have tendency. But this love of God now is not directed to Krishna. If it's directed to money, it's called greed. If it's directed towards opposite sex, it's called lust. If it's directed towards poor people, it's called compassion. It's just split in hundred and hundred branches. But it's not directed to Krishna. It's the same energy, same feeling, same attraction, same emotion. From where it's coming? From the soul. What is it? It's love of God. Just like your pure sunlight, if you put through the prism, crystal prism, it will break, split into rainbow. Original is pure, transparent light. But because it's touched with material nature, it splits. Karma, Krodha, Lopa, Matsari, Mo, so many things. Love, hate, this, that, so many things are there. 
If you remove the material contamination, pure love of God. Back, back to the origin. It's like this. So Chaita Darpana Majan, this chanting purifies the mind, purifies the heart, purifies actually then souls, attributes, souls, qualities are coming out. Sachitanand, understanding of eternity, knowledge, bliss, everything is coming out, one after another. Just all the qualities are coming out, getting purified. So the attitude, proper attitude is humbleness, service attitude, asking question, being many of servant of a guru. Nothing to be ashamed of. Because what we are gaining, huh? tell honestly like this. Okay. I give you 10 crores. Six months, you do whatever I say. Hmm? Anybody interested? Huh? What? I like, cook for me, wash my feet, carry me in palanquin. Ten crores. It's a good deal. No? Look what we are doing for little money. Look what jobs we are doing. Cleaning the ditches, mines, working in steel plant. I went to steel plant. Probably it's like in hell. Day and night flames are on. Somebody is getting roasted. <laughs> <laughs> cleaning the ditches. That's not a job. Cleaning ditches in the city of Calcutta. It's a golden mine. <laughs> Means what are horrible jobs for little money, for little sense gratification, for nothing, you know? For 10 crores people who kill somebody, they'll do anything, you know? And to get moksha to come out of material, to stop repeated birth and death, where is the question of ego? You serve the Guru, you understand? We should be uh, to do anything to please Guru. And he's a gentleman, he's not asking nasty things. What is asked, what means service to Guru? What will Guru ask you to do? He will ask, bring me flowers for Krishna, bring me boga for Krishna, build a temple for Krishna, arrange programs so we can glorify Krishna. He doesn't want service for himself, he's going to engage in Krishna's service. This is Guru. Okay, you wash Guru's clothes, so you save his time so he can talk about Krishna. That's all. Otherwise, you know, he will wash himself, he doesn't care. Why does he care? He doesn't care. You understand? This is the point. That we are not serving Guru as a Guru, somebody is separate. In Gaudiya Vaishnava tradition, we do not worship Guru separately from Krishna. We worship Guru and Krishna together. We worship Krishna because Guru told us to worship Krishna. First instruction when you come to Guru, what will you say? Chant Hare Krishna, serve Krishna, for life after life you are serving Maya. Come on, do something for Krishna. Immediately engage in Krishna service. This is Guru. Morning, what we do? Guru Puja. We worship Prabhupada right in front of Krishna's altar. We sing for Prabhupada and we turn to Krishna's altar. We worship together. There is no separate worship of Guru. Some Sampradayas went on in Guru, worship, Guru, worship, Guru, worship, and then build a new temple, put Guru, and there is no more Krishna on the altar. Swami Narayan, Gujarat. This is a big blunder that happened in the Sampradaya. If you see Shikshapatri, I was five days in Gujarat. 94 to 99 I was there. And I see Swami Narayan also claimed to come for Ramananda Sampradaya and he brought book Shikshapatri, 212 shlokas. He opened six temples in Gujarat. Four temples are Radha Krishna temples. One is Lakshmi Narayan temple, one is Nara Narayan temple. Nara Narayan, Arjuna and Krishna. Okay. And he writes Shikshapatri. Shikshapatri. Instructions to his disciples. First shloka says, I worship Krishna who lives in Vrindavan, on whose side is Radharani, and on whose feet Lakshmi is goddess of fortune is his name. He says, read fifth canto of Bhagavatam, read ten, ten canto of Bhagavatam. These two are most important. Chant Krishna's mantra, never worship any other form than Krishna's form. Beautiful instruction. Okay. Then comes his shishya, and his shishya says that uh, our guru is Krishna. Sahajanan Swami became known as Swami Narayan. Okay. And now they make him God. So first thing they did, in each temple next to Radha Krishna, they put his mood. Now you see Radha Krishna standing, and there is somebody with mustaches standing there. So first... Deviation came that they installed 
in his temples. He told Radha Krishna, later they put his murti. Now new temple they open, only Swamina, no more Radha Krishna. Mm. You understand how step by step you are going away. Mm. So this happened, why? Because they did not get proper balance that you worship Guru and Krishna together. Now what happened? They become Guru Vares. The only Guru is what. And now finally they say, Guru is Brahman, Param Brahman is what. I read last book when we visited them. This Pramukh Swami, they declare he is Bhagavan. You see how Mayavad came. First, Guru was worshipped because he taught them how to worship Krishna. Then Shishyas misunderstood. There is one conversation Prabhupada said, must be the Guru was wrong. He did not speak clearly. Otherwise, how immediately first generation of the Guru, they misunderstood his philosophy. That's Prabhupada's comment. If you see Shikshapatri, we can give lectures from Shikshapatri. You can read it. Beautiful. Now they're giving commentary on that. In Shikshapatri, more than 100 times Krishna is mentioned. At the beginning introduction, they wrote a new edition that... Uh, Wherever you read word Krishna, don't misunderstand this is Krishna who is with Radha. You must understand that refers to Swami Narayana. And now latest version, they change Krishna word to Swami Narayana. Finish. Gone. No more. So this is, this is what we have to understand. Some people are only Guru. You will see in, in, some, in India many people just worship Guru. You will see photo of Guru and altar Guru and Guru, Guru, Guru. Correct. Ramakrishna, what do they do? He was worshipping Durga. Vedic deity, at least Vedic deity he was. Now Ramakrishna, Ramakrishna photo. There is no Durga anymore. He was famous for having his ecstasy, spiritual ecstasy in front of Durga. So if I'm Shishi, I should also worship Durga. You understand? So that this is where deviation took place. You know. So many, many you will see many in Indian houses. They have just Guru photo. We don't have. We have Guru and Krishna. Then you have Shankara's who think Shankara Guru is God. We don't think that was. Guru is servant of God. So, so many things to learn, so many things to clarify. Therefore, Guru Sadhu Shats, we have to hear, we have to associate with you, is like this. And once you come under shelter of Guru, second most important attitude is enthusiasm. This is what goes on keeping you. Sometimes people ask me, how did you join ISKCON? But I remember one devotee, very senior devotee in ISKCON, Ishwar Prabhu, there was a big gathering and they asked him, Prabhuji, how did you join? And he was thinking, better you ask me, how did I stay? <laughs> <laughs> Means, how did I manage all these years not to fall down? <laughs> or how to know? You know, it is, it is an interesting answer. You know? <laughs> so better to know how to, how do we stay, how do we survive? We survive like this, that this proper attitude must be there. Enthusiasm must be there. That is very important attitude. Because if we understand what Prabhupada has given us, what Krishna has given us through Prabhupada and through devotees, we will be jumping in ecstasy. Look, we got a way how to stop repeated birth on that. And you see how many people are living in this city. How many people know how to stop repeated birth on that? How many people are aware there is God at all? And that He is person and that I'm supposed to love Him and that He is reciprocating to Mahamantra, that Mahamantra can give me love of God. We have key of coming out of material world. You know, it's a big jail, Durga. It's a fort. Prabhupada, Acharya said, jail. Durga is jail keeper. And we have a key, Prabhupada, open door. He said, hey, he's gone. Back door out. No? We have that knowledge, you know. We have, look at us, 4.30 in the morning. Who is jumping and dancing yesterday at 4.30 in the morning? Only devotees. Because they know, oh, we are coming, going home back to Godhead. <laughs> <laughs> no? Blissful life. Prabhupada had arguments once in, in the West that somebody was challenging, what is this Hare Krishna, what is this? So Prabhupada said, all right, all right, I follow. All right, say if there is no God. Say if there is no God. Our lifestyle is better than your materialistic lifestyle. Our food is better. Our activities are better. We rise early in the morning, we go early to sleep. We don't drink, we don't smoke, we don't take drugs, we don't kill people, we don't kill animals. Our families are better. Our children are better. Our wives are better. Our food is better. Our life is better. Even if there is no God, our life is better than yours. But there is God. <laughs> 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 and it's true. It's look. 
Who is eating in ghee every day? Tell me. <laughs> huh? Huh? Even King of Brunei gets refined oil for the very first. You understand? Who is eating ghee? Hmm? Look at me. I achieved perfection. 108 kg. <laughs> Ashtotra, <laughs> Ashtotra. <laughs> you know, they give title, <laughs> No? Who is eating ghee, Baba? You know? No? Even rich people, I think, cheap oil, aluminium pots. We, uh, aluminium pots are banned in Krishna's kitchen. We cook in bronze, but at least in, in the bell metal, how you call it, gun, gun metal, you know? No? Clay pots, whatever, you know? Krishna is eating from silver plate, correct? Golden plate used to be. No? Yeah, everything is better what we do. Look at, look, we sing, we dance, we are positive, we, we are enthusiastic, we do something good for others. We are good elements in society. We don't kill, we don't exploit, we don't damage anything, we like nature, we like animals, we like everyone. Look at, we are good fellows in society. Correct? It's not, we are not so bad, no? Be over it, that's the... <laughs> so Krishna consciousness is such a bliss, and if you think, if you read Prabhupada's books, you, I don't know who is that fellow, show me that fellow who reads every day Prabhupada's books and that he is not enthusiastic. I've never seen anybody like this. Actually, complete opposite. Only these fellows who are not reading, they come with, oh, mm, ah, if he's right, maybe he's not right, maybe Krishna is God, maybe Krishna is not God, how do I know? Mm. And why it is connected, and this is connected, and this temple and this, and this temple, and because you don't read books. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, you are completely cloud in your head, you know. If you read Prabhupada's books, Baba, you must be super enthusiastic, Baba. You, you do anything, you, you just jump in ecstasy, you won't be able to sleep. Bhakti Vaiba Maharaj, one of the early German devotees who joined, early, early days he joined ISKCON, they say they rent, they, nobody wanted to rent house to devotees because they were looking strange. Mm. And those days they were looking strange because they would wash clothes together in a big washing machine and whoever grabs they will wear whatever, you know. So one socks were pink color, one was white color. They were transcendental, they didn't care, you know. And the tall fellow will have short shirt, you know, and the short one will have hanging his sleeves like this, you know. And nobody cared because we are not his body, Prabhu. <laughs> So they would go this way with books like this and Germans, you know Germans. Germans means one mm. Everything must be one mm. And why did you pack your car? The one mm is extra. <laughs> They're so upset for one mm, you know. So they see the water like this and looking. And then the water comes, would you rent us the house? Nine. No? There's no way. They find it. So they rented all fire fire brigade building. So they had this pole from first floor down. So he said, this is how they used to come from Mangalarati. <laughs> so he said, they were so enthusiastic, you know. They were so enthusiastic, they, they're like this. They'll come eight, nine o'clock, back to temple from book distribution. They'll eat full plate of prasadam, Govardhan Lila. <laughs> like that? And then go to sleep. And then he said like this, 12 o'clock, somebody wake up. What's the time? 12 o'clock. Mangalat? No, no, 12 o'clock. Oh, okay. <laughs> 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. Mangalat? No, no, it's 1 o'clock. Okay. Three, four times they would wake up at night. They were so enthusiastic. They couldn't sleep. They were hyped on. They said when Prabhupada was coming, there's no way. They, they, everybody transcends sleeping. He said there was no sleeping. Three, four days, no sleeping. Nobody was tired. Everyone was pushing, pushing, pushing. One Prabhupada left, there was like battery switch off or something. You know, they, they, they were so enthusiastic, they didn't mind. This amazing energy they had. It's a spiritual, it runs on spiritual, it's not running on, on material, you know. So, if you want to be enthusiastic, you want to be good disciple, read Prabhupada's books, hear Prabhupada's lectures. You know, they, these are always source of our inspiration because these are transcendental words. These are words from spiritual world. This is Krishna dictator. Prabhupada said that. I myself read my own books. Which author will do that? This is true. I did not write them. Krishna wrote them. This is amazing. This is something extraordinary, you know. So this is um, 8.45. As a good disciple, we have to stop on time. Otherwise, no prasad. <laughs> okay. So we stop a little bit here. This little introduction on this, this big topic. I know life you have to work out in that. 
now how to advance, how to serve Guru, what is the proper way, to, how to heal instruction, how to deal with Guru, how to deal, deal with something you don't understand, how to deal with senior devotees, how to deal with equal, how to deal with junior. There is all science, but that you learn with devotees as you go, you learn in life like that. Do you have any questions? How can you have any questions? One hour I'm speaking. <laughs> uh, any questions? <coughs> Hmm? You want some water? <laughs> so, Prabhu, when we have, like, for example, if you see our ancient culture, where we had, like, one guru and so many disciples were there. Right. So, it would be very easy to relate with the guru, spiritual master, and, and to serve him properly. Why? Well, it was easy when Prabhupada was there. There was one guru, and everybody yes. is his disciple. Now we have so many gurus. Yes. Now we make parties, like in Tamil Nadu politics, DMK, LDMK. <laughs> Like Who is your guru? <laughs> you see, this is how it starts, no? So yeah. in such environment, how to deal with uh, such um, spiritual masters, God brothers, and uh, even our peers who are the disciples of other spiritual masters? Look, it's a very simple thing. Our attitude, how should it be? Yeah, yeah, it's a good question. Actually, it's very relevant to his con. We are multi-guru society. But good news is all our gurus are disciples of Srila Prabhupada. That means that my guru and your guru are God brothers, means your guru is my guru, my guru is your guru. Mm -hmm. Means that guru's God brother is treated as a guru. So there is no question, my guru, your guru. There are no political flags in this country. Everybody is waving Prabhupada's flag. All are holding Prabhupada's flag. Why my guru is guru? Because he is teaching what Prabhupada said. Why your guru is guru? Because he is teaching what Prabhupada said. Why your guru is a guru? Because he is teaching what Prabhupada said. So there is no difference. So if two brothers are coming, how do you treat your uncle? Your uncle, how are you? Like a father. This is how you treat my guru when he comes. You are not his disciple, but you treat him like your guru. And this is how it should be. And this is how it is. And this is how it works. Otherwise it doesn't work. But problem is, neophyte devotee comes fresh from material world, and he comes with concept. I don't know how, but in South India still we have this caste system. It's not in the newspapers, but it's in the blood. It's, uh, we, uh, uh, we go for traveling, for Yatra, we, we go to Vrindavan. And person comes and asks me, Prabhuji, um, can we have different communities in Tamil Nadu? One is amazing Gujarati community, we call Sarashtra people. Okay. We have Sarashtra community. So person comes, we are in Dwaraka, I cannot I went to Dwaraka and person comes to me, devotee, initially, he said, can Sarashtra devotees stay in same guest house? I said, we are Krishna's devotees, we are not Sarashtra devotees. <laughs> Their community, they want to stay, you know, they are devotees, but they want to stay together. Because same language, same kitchen, same murku, same style. <laughs> it's amazing, this attachment is amazing. So person comes from material world, you know, he has an ego. And he has this material concept, my community, you know. Now he, he projects this material idea on Guru. Because I am such an important person, my Guru is most important Guru, correct? No? So this is the misunderstanding. He is projecting his material ideas on Guru. So he thinks, okay, first I'll choose the best Guru. <laughs> so he goes on searching completely on material platform and he chooses the most popular Guru, most probably. You know, he sees who has the biggest clicks, likes on the YouTube or something, you know. He doesn't hear. He goes by the voice popularly, you know. And then uh, he creates all kinds of troubles because he is neophyte. He, he thinks, okay, now I'm disciple of this guru. So my guru is better than other gurus because I'm better devoted than other devotees. He's a neophyte, you know. Then he goes on creating so many troubles. He goes on canvassing for his guru. He think I should bring more disciples. Guru is pleased by numbers, or Guru is pleased by money, or Guru is pleased by show, or whatever, you know. It's just completely materialistic, you know, you thinking. And then he creates all kinds of troubles, unnecessary, you know. He goes on canvassing that, why you want to take Diksha from this Guru? It, come, I tell you. See, I'm already 25 years in school. I know. You don't know. How long you are in school? You? 18. Huh? 18. 18 years. Huh? And still you have hair. Where is this one? <laughs> okay, you don't know, I'll tell you. Who is Guru? <laughs> so this is how it goes. He, he overpowers new devotee by talking, 
you know, he posing as a, you know, he shows you, you know, did you didn't see, I have Roman tails, sorry, I didn't show you before. <laughs> <laughs> he makes sure that when he introduces himself, he gets all credentials, you know. Uh, he joined the year 2000, but he tells to everyone, 93 I joined. <laughs> you know? First time he, as a child, read in the book, Hare Krishna, ah, this is when I read Prabhupada's books. How old are you? Uh, three or four. You know? <laughs> he makes drama, and then he gets new people, and goes on canvassing for his guru. Actually, this guru is special guru. This is all gurus. My guru is special. <laughs> Just, you take diksha, bus job done, go home back. <laughs> and this is how they, you know, this is how they can us. You are laughing, but this is exactly what has happened. You have no clue. You have no clue. One fellow told oh, my guru is special guru. One time Prabhupada told him, you are dearest son of my guru Maharaj. The dearest grandson of Bhakti Siddhanta. This is how they preached to me. When I joined, uh, I joined the multi-guru. You know, but one guru was a little prominent, okay. And uh, his disciples, Friday I joined, by Sunday I had three photos of same guru given by three different people. You know, canvassing, you know. I joined the temple, but what do I know? You know, give me a little time, you know, they, we have 80 gurus in this country, you know, let me at least see photos of them, you know. At least give me some hope, you know, to learn something. Immediately they start canvassing, you know. Oh, you are very told. You will be a disciple of that guru, because he is also told. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird, you know. This is what happened to me. Huh? So I was thinking, wow, this is strange. Oh, good, you joined temple. Here, photo for you. And he gives his guru photo. What do I know? First time I came, okay, I put photo. Then the second person came. Oh, nice. Yes. So, anyway, you know, once you have to accept guru, yeah. anyway, just give this photo for now. Later I will explain. Same photo, you know. So, okay, number two. I'm collecting. <laughs> You know, it's, it's so weird. They, they, you know, try to preach to you, you know. They don't really guide you, you know. So this is Neopay, not understanding. He brings this material concept and creates chaos and then this group, that group. There's only one flag, one group, one part. Prabhupada, we are Prabhupada Nugas. We are Rupa Nugas, Baba. There is no party spirit here. Cannot be. Nobody should ask you. Nobody should ask you this. Actually, that Europe 90s was very nice because when you go to other temples, nobody ever asked me who is my guru. Mm. They say, Oh, Prabhuji, nice you came. Would you like to do some service? <laughs> say, yes, because uh, you do service, you get prasada. <laughs> it was so good spirit. And some people were a little bit, you know, here and there. Always there's somebody, some Paramahamsa comes and he thinks he knows better than others. You know? But best thing is to you serve. You serve Prabhupada's disciples, whether they are gurus or not. We have in Salam visitors, Haripad Prabhu and his wife, Mukunda Dattu Prabhu comes. They are not gurus, but they are jewels of devotees. Now, Harishari Prabhu is coming next week on 10th. I'm going back for that, you know. Seven days he will be there. He's not guru, but I tell you, he's my guru. You don't understand. He put his feet on my head, and if I have glue, I will glue it forever. You, know? <laughs> he, he understand. This is these are worshipful. These are our worshipful. You know, they are representatives of Prabhupada. They are Prabhupada's servants. Yes. This is our light, our hope, our link to Prabhupada. This is our blessing. They are, they are servants of Prabhupada. They are dear to Prabhupada. Any service rendered, mm. you know, no politics and spiritual war, no. I joke in Tamil Nadu, DMK, ADMK, you don't know, we have, you know Tamil Nadu, well, they like Samba Rasam and politics. <laughs> <laughs> they like, like this politics, so they bring, you know. First thing, you come in temple, <clears throat> without asking your name, Prabhu, who is your guru? <laughs> this first thing to us, who is your guru? Now they will print cards, I think, so other cards and guru cards. You know. <laughs> But look, don't blame Iskon. We are Iskon. Yes. You are Iskon. How you make mood here, this is how it will be. Mm. You create your own mood here. Nobody can stop you. Mm. Nobody can stop you to serve Krishna. Hiranyakashipu is dead. Mm. Ravana is dead. Okay, these guys are not so big, you know. These are small fellows. Little bewildered souls. Nobody can stop you to serve Krishna. Nobody can stop you have nice attitude. 
Nobody can stop you chanting, nobody can stop you cooking for Krishna, nobody can stop you doing nice kirtan. Who can stop you? Do it for Prabhupada's pleasure. But this will be possible only if you understand Prabhupada is founder Acharya. Mm-hmm. All other shishyas are his disciples, these are his sons. If you don't respect one son of Prabhupada and you respect another one, how will Prabhupada be pleased? How is it possible that father is pleased if you respect one son and disrespect another son? These are all children of Prabhupada. Prabhupada is such a guru, he could make hundreds of pure devotees, and he did. So we have to respect them because there's no question canvassing. Leave people, let them hear lectures of different gurus, let them see who is inspiring them, let be practical also, let them take diksha from guru who is coming here, now let you take diksha from guru who is in North America and never comes here. It's not practical. Possible, but it's not practical. Gurus are more practical. I asked 93, when I wanted to go to India, I asked one guru in Europe, um, please you give me diksha, I want to go to India. So before you, oh, if you go to India, take diksha from guru who is in India, it's practical. Mm. You know, so I thought, You're, you know, he's very nice. You see, he's not running after disciples, he's not, you know, he's just, it's just practical. If you're going to stay in India, say, I think I'm going to stay in India. Then you stay there, there's so many gurus and take from, it's practical, take guidance. Same teaching. What I teach, what he will teach, same thing. Mm-hmm. So I offer pranam. I thought, well, this is very nice. See what I, you see what is there. Mm-hmm. You know, in Salem we have disciples of Krishna Shetra Swami, of Shivaram Swami, of Japataka Swami, of uh, Bhakti Charu Swami. It's, uh, Subhak Maharaj, disciple, like that, you know. So what happens that <coughs> Krishna Kshetra Swami wrote a letter to his disciple. He said, dear such and such, that nice, uh, yes, I approve your plan to go to India. And I'm very happy that you are in Salem under, guidance, under good guidance of Bhakti Vigar Swami. I do not approve my disciples wrong on their own in India. You know, particularly not in Vrindavan, where they go to, you know, some Babaji's and this, that, you know. So, if you want to stay under guidance, then I approve you're going to India. You see, it's so nice, you know. It's just, yes, my disciple is sheltered, good. Whether I guide him or Bhakti Kasmar, it doesn't matter. Matters that he is under somebody's guidance, you know. And it's practical. We have a, our good brother serving in London serving um, in Hungary, serving different places. So whoever is Guru, they take his shiksha, Baba, take his guidance, he, he's the like, same, there's no difference, you know, what does it matter? You know, your circumstance like this, you have to take diksha from that Guru. And this party spirit that's both, you know, that's... Hmm? Who is your Guru? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Who is the owner of house? Not a heaven. <laughs> Soft. She put some wood inside. <laughs> hmm? Where is your tiller? Bogus. Hmm? <laughs> I write to your guru. Tell me who is <laughs> so like, Okay, any other questions? Very late. Nine o'clock. Yes, Prof. So, uh, this is discussion on the subject. So, uh, some personal instructions from your spiritual master which benefited you most and can help persons. Personal instruction from spiritual master. Oh, this is a difficult question. <coughs> well, uh, it's, um, you know, it's, um, it takes time to develop a relation with Guru. When you are new, really, you are I, I don't know for you, but I was, I'm in clouds, you know, it's just your space, how you're young, you're passionate, you're not really understanding what you're dealing with, you know, it's kind of, you know, it takes a little time to learn sober and understand, and this is Prabhupada's disciple, this is, you know, person who given life to Prabhupada's service, you know, it takes little years to deepen relation with Guru and really take seriously, you know you know, instruction, you know. First we are a little passionate, we are in the modes, we are completely, you know, covered with Maya, you know. So everything goes a little um, kind of mechanical, not mechanical, but passionate, kind of, you know, okay, this will book, this will book, you know, it's like this. 
But later on, actually, you come to the point to, to try to understand Marat, what he actually wants. What is his desire? What is his mood? What is, uh, how to assist him in the service? Beginning, usually, devotee comes and just have a relation with, okay, I'm doing what I am doing, and I'm just reporting to Guru. Then after a few years, come point, Maharaj, do you want me to do something? And he says, oh, good morning. Finally, you came to ask, how, you know? Many times people come and they tell to Maharaj, Maharaj, I want to preach this, I want to do this, I want to do this, 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 this. And Maharaj say, well, maybe you could do this. No, no, Maharaj, this is better. I will do this, 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 this. Okay. And then he comes out to room and say, Maharaj told me to do this. <laughs> but it's not. Maharaj wanted three times to tell him something else, but he's not hearing, you know. It, it, you know, it comes because you're guna, you are, you know, completely passionate, you know. So another fellow can say, there was some, Maharaj told me that he's going to send him to some country for preaching. He wanted to send one couple to Malawi to help preach in Africa, you know. So I told this what if Maharaj is calling you, he wants to discuss about some Malawi problem. Okay, okay. So he comes out after one hour, I say, so what happened? No, I convinced Maharaj, but that for me to stay in India. You convinced Maharaj. <laughs> Come on, this is not the way, you know. What did Maharaj say? No, Maharaj told to go, but I explained better to stay. I said, you know better, or Maharaj knows better? Oh, did I do something wrong? I said, Papa, go back and ask Maharaj, what do you want me to do? I will do. This is Shisha. Oh, actually, I say, what Maharaj said? Actually, 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 I was talking all the time. <laughs> you know, he just didn't hear what Maharaj said. So I said, Papa, go back, your shisha, go back and ask Maharaj, Maharaj, what do you want me to do? If you want me to go to Malawi, I'll go to Malawi. If you want me to stay, go. I just explain the situation, now you decide. So he came back, and Maharaj said, I tried three, four times to tell you you're not hearing, yes? Yeah? Can you help in Malawi? I'm not pushing, but if you can hear Maharaj, he went. Now he's four or five years, they're doing nice. Mm. But first reaction, I convince Maharaj brother, <laughs> you can't do this. <laughs> so all these things, so this little take time, you know. It's, um, it um, takes time to develop, you know. We are covered like anything. We are not seeing with what we are dealing. We are not understanding how great souls are this, you know. They have no motivation. They are given life to Prabhupada, you know. They are like given life to Krishna. They have nothing for themselves, you know. So we want to serve, we want to hear, we want to guide. Personal instruction, this is difficult to explain in the, you know, it's a... Personal instruction is like this, that... Um, message is simple to say, it's a... Uh, just give your life to Prabhupada. Mm -hmm. It's like this. This is the instruction. Don't, don't wholeheartedly. I'll tell you what was the instruction. We were discussing something. So Maharaj was pushing us a little bit. This is his duty. And we were a little hesitating. So Maharaj is pushing. Come on. Do it. Do it. I said, Maharaj, give a little more time. Said, no, you do it. So I was a little hesitating. Maharaj said, you cannot be duck. Either you are a swan or you are a crow. You can't be duck. Do you understand? Just like we take diction. Mataji, we are boil some rice. Now you can't half boil rice. Half boil rice, neither you can eat it, neither you can keep it. You understand? You no, know, so in spiritual, you can't do half water. You know? There's no half heart. Either you're a swan or you're a crow. There's no duck, you know. So this is what hit me very much, you know. Because we were a little hesitating, you know. Marge pushing, I said, Marge, I can't do this. This is too much. I do. The German said, Langsam aber sicher. Slowly but safely. Chug, surrender. I said, Marge, give me a little time. No, chug, surrender. <coughs> then I was like this little hesitating, and then Mara said, what is this? You want to be duck. You cannot be duck. A swan or crow. So that hit me very much, you know. What is the point? Already we join, already take Diksha Chalabha, surrender. 
What is there to lose? You gain everything, you know. It's just we are attached, we are foolish, we are mental, we have some desire to enjoy, we are hesitating, we think we lose. Look what a nice seat I got. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. You are working or sitting on the floor? <laughs> we should give you everything. But of course, that's the point, that we are not after material things. That's the fun. So, I like that one. That one really hit me, shook me up from the root, you know. Because, come on, do it, you know, that's the point. You know, so, so. Thank you, thank you, Maharaj. <laughs> thank all of you for patiently hearing. And uh, nine o'clock, I apologize very much, very late. Children want to go to sleep. They are very late, so some prasadam, do you sir? Yes, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. You are all invited to Salem if you come visit Tamil Nadu anytime. We are three hours south from you. are coming. Okay, give me five. <laughs> What is meaning of devotee? <laughs> Last 25 years I'm trying to figure out this one. <laughs> I think only thing I understood that devotee is servant of Krishna. That is meaning of devotee. Hmm? Make sense? Hmm? Happy? Okay, thank you. Tough question. <laughs> Very smart guy, he understood. So please, all of you are invited to visit us in Salem. Uh, we are just three hours south from Bangalore. We have airport in Salem. Doesn't mean there are any airplanes coming, but airport <laughs> 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 you know, Once a day, fly from Chennai. You can come from Chennai once a day. They don't land it through you with parachute. <laughs> and uh, we are two hours from Shirangam. And we know Pujari is in Shirangam. We know the cooks in Shirangam. <coughs> <laughs> so we can show you around a little bit. Come a little bit, see a little bit South India. You take Yatra. Yeah. Hmm? Kanaya Desh comes to Dravida Desh. <laughs> 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 huh? So you also come all the way from Kerala, will allow you. <laughs> <laughs> and I know also who is his guru, everything. <laughs> <laughs> So all of you are invited. Thank you very much for tolerating. Shri Prabhupada ki. Yeah. Yeah.